So guys, it's definitely been a long time, but we've been waiting for this date, the long-awaited 5G upgrade that would dramatically improve the in-car user experience is finally here. This looks to be the very first step into fully unlocking all the future RoboTaxi options in-car personal hotspot along with a handful of Wi-Fi features. Earlier this year, Tesla quietly began equipping the latest vehicles with upgraded telematic hardware paving the way for full 5G connectivity. The first to feature the new modems are the Refresh Model 3 Highlands and the Model Y Juniper, both of which include a small new cutout positioned just before the rear glass which houses the upgraded antenna system. Up until recently, Tesla has relied exclusively on LTE 4G modems across its lineup, but now that's all starting to change. The company appears to be phasing in a new 5G capable modem across all models as production transitions to the next generation hardware. This marks Tesla's first major leap in vehicle connectivity since LTE was introduced back in 2018 when the current generation one modem was first made available. The first generation modem offers download speeds in the range of 20 to 100 megabits per second, which has been more than enough for Tesla's earlier vehicles but as the company moves towards more data intensive features and real time applications such as full self driving, LTE is now becoming to show its age. The successor officially referred to in Tesla's latest electronics part catalog as telematics control unit TCU generation 2 was first spotted in late March of this year. According to discoveries, the new modem supports true 5G data potentially reaching speeds of up to 1 gigabit per second. While well, the greatest benefits will be seen in cities with strong 5G infrastructures, owners in suburban areas should still experience faster data performance and lower latency. Now, although Tesla has officially started transitioning new vehicles to the upgraded 5G hardware, all current models are still operating on the older 4G network. The company hasn't made any public statement or provided a timeline for when 5G connectivity will be added and eventually activated. But in a surprising turn, this past weekend marks the very first confirmed sighting of 5G being enabled through a software update, giving us our initial preview of the feature finally making its way to Tesla vehicles. Spotted and shared by Bennett M on X while riding RoboTaxi in the Bay Area, he noticed that driver display showcased a 5G icon next to the signal bar where typically LTE icon would appear. This strongly suggests that Tesla has began deploying an early software update for upcoming RoboTaxi fleets, taking advantage of the new 5G data connection. The upgrade would deliver major improvements in data transfer speed, especially useful for quickly uploading driving data and telemetry back to Tesla's headquarters. It's also expected that the same update will gradually expand to the broader fleet of vehicles equipped with the new hardware over the next few software updates. Once activated, the enhanced bandwidth will significantly boost in-car experience for data-heavy applications like streaming Netflix in 4K, playing Steam games, and potentially even enabling built-in Wi-Fi hotspot for passengers. Overall, the next-generation modem represents a major step forward for Tesla's connected vehicle experience, improving map loading times and responsiveness for data-heavy apps as the company continues to expand its in-car software ecosystem. Alright, so at the moment, you might be questioning and saying why the need for 5G when everything loads perfectly on LTE, no loading time, no app delays, no issues at all. And truthfully, that is all correct. LTE works better in most situations at the moment. It works for cell phones, PDAs, and whatever else on the market today. And Tesla is no exception. It can penetrate walls better. It can have better speeds at certain time. And it just has overall better effectiveness across all different ranges. But the true benefits of 5G really shines when LTE lacks. The future is going to require a lot more speed and that is going to play in part with RoboTaxi, AI, and full self-driving. And this is where LTE kind of falls short behind at 20 megabits to 100 megabits per second at the cap. That is just not enough. This means that 5G is going to take the rest of the beating where LTE is going to be used as a fallback or a fail safe. And all of this realistically will show the true benefits of 5G over 4G. And it's what's going to drive for a better in-car experience on your own personal Tesla as well as on the RoboTaxi network. Now, in other news, spotted over this weekend by Green The Only, full self-driving and autopilot is finally getting some new and long-awaited visualization upgrades found deep within the codes of the latest 2025.38 software update 
there lies a handful of new visualization assets. The latest update introduces a wide range of new and more detailed vehicle visualizations giving drivers a clearer understanding of what their Tesla cameras and neural network are detecting in real time. The expanded visualization now includes a variety of everyday and specialized vehicles, everything from ambulances, fire trucks, school buses, garbage trucks, street sweepers, golf carts, scooters, skateboards, strollers, and even trains and trams. Tesla has also refined the system to now display and visualize European-style semi-trucks along with new models for three-wheeled trailers and wheelchairs. This suggests the update is being prepared for both autopilot and full self-driving, even though full self-driving isn't officially available in Europe. Interestingly, one unexpected addition stands out, a visualization of a vehicle resembling a long hot dog resting on a bun, clearly inspired by the famous Wienermobile seen across parts of Europe. And then when zooming in to the full view of the collection of new assets, there's also an updated Santa mode, complete with redesigned elves and transparent Santa sleigh, adding a touch of seasonal fun for later this year. So there we have it guys, some really incredible stuff happening all through a simple software over the air update. This is what makes Tesla Tesla and no other company can compare. Believe it or not, the 5G upgrade is really important and really out of this world. It is what's going to drive the RoboTaxi network giving control from the remote operators down to the vehicle with extremely high bandwidth and low latency. If you look at competitors at the moment like Waymo and previously Cruise, they had always brought a driver into the car, sat down and drove the car away in the case that a car got stuck, passengers called support. This is the procedure. This is all due to the low latency and the low bandwidth of LTE connection where the remote operators could not assist remotely. This is why Tesla has added the 5G modem, 5G connectivity, and this allows for RoboTaxi to be controlled completely hands-free from a distance. But aside from all that, for you and I, the biggest benefit is going to be all the improvements in the UI. This means you're gonna to get to be able to load maps quicker, apps are overall gonna be faster, Netflix in 4K, Steam games if you have one of those cars, and the best one yet, which hasn't officially announced, but it's very likely now with 5G on its path, that is in-car personal hotspot. To break it down here, my speculation is that the in-car personal hotspot hasn't officially been announced for many years now because of the bottleneck of 4G and LTE capped at 100 megabits per second. Now, Tesla does use uh, a portion of that bandwidth for their core components, like sending data back and for updates, for driving details and telemetry. This is all things that does use a portion of the 100 megabit per second. And if you decide as a driver or a passenger using that part of the bandwidth and connecting to 4K, Netflix, YouTube, and downloading large apps, this might mess with the control unit. This might mess with the full self-driving system. We don't know all the backbones of this and how much it's being used, but with 5G, that is no longer the issue. You have up to one gigabit per second. You can connect up to 100,000 to a million passengers in the back. Shouldn't be an issue technically, but um, yeah, with this now rolling out to robo taxis and soon rolling out in a software update to all of our vehicles that are compatible with the compatible hardware, this could possibly enable that brand new feature. And with a flip of a switch, we all get a personal hotspot as soon as you jump into the car. Anyways, this is all really exciting stuff. I can't wait to see what else Tesla does by the end of this year with their software update. So much has rolled out in the last week alone with Tron, with full self-driving, everything else. Go check out my previous video. I will drop it in the description below and up top there. If you haven't already done so, make sure you also hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so I can keep you as updated as possible on anything that comes out relating to Tesla. Anyways, this should be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.